This is a quick video to see if your business is listed on Google Local and then if it isn't an intro to how to get it listed. So first of all you can just go to the Google Maps and look up your business name here. I have permission to utilize a local cafe called Cafe on Main. So here's the name and the address. I'm going to search for it. First you want to see if your business is listed. If it is listed, then you want to claim the listing. If it is not listed, then you want to uh, create a listing. So what we're finding out is when we look up this listing is the place it says is closed or relocated. So that's another situation we want to correct because it's not true. So you see here we've looked it up. It's on maps and we found out uh, that the status information changed. So what you want to do first is look it up here. If it isn't, then I'll show you where to go to register it. You'd go to, you can still use the old local.google.com. When you put in local.google.com, it takes you here and then you can click put your business on maps. But this listing is actually on the map so we won't be using this but if it weren't you'd come here so let's go back here and what we found out is it actually is on the map but it says it's closed which is not good for business so we click the the item and then we click more information and it takes us to the Google local page what we have here is it states the business is closed which is not true So what we want to do is go ahead and claim this listing but one of the things I want to point out is one way to understand that your listing is not claimed is look at the photos nothing's been added look at the description nothing's really there but we do want to claim this because we got nice reviews here already very common of restaurants they haven't claimed their listing and then look over here do you see we haven't there's no photo uploaded so to manage this page and then correct this we'll click manage this page it will ask us to sign in. So at this point we want to sign in with our Gmail account and then we can go and correct the error uh, that states that we are closed and out of business but we also can fill in more content. Now at this point it brings us to the next page and it says edit my business information, suspend the listing, this isn't my listing. I want to actually edit the business information and add some more data to this page. They're also going to send a PIN number uh, to the address so it's very important to look out for this because people frequently throw this out when it comes in the door. Now I'm going to put in the other information description. When it comes to the description you want a clear description. Uh, it's always better when you can use words uh, that describe the area, what you offer, and make it concise and to the point. Now, now you want to put a description in. You want it clear what it offers. <clears throat> Describing uh, home cooking is a, is a key word we're utilizing here. Downtown Hamlet's another one. Cafe, and uh, and then uh, that they offer a uh, daily lunch and dinner specials categories when you do this you really want to get the key categories of what it is so that it'll show up in the searches so you want to attempt to match up with the categories that Google likes to suggest because then you'll be put into categories that people have proven they're looking for so we'll start restaurant so we have American restaurant that would be it breakfast restaurant definitely that family restaurant there's a nice one so I'm just trying some to see I don't want to overdo it really about three to five is best so here I tried dinner and of course some others didn't match up if you really want to take some time you could use the Google keyword tool to get ideas of what's optimum for you take out restaurant there we go we've got several they have on the menu and mention a hamburger so let's see what we get there hamburger restaurant <laughs> we may include that as well 
American breakfast, family, takeout restaurant, and hamburger. So we'll stop there. Then it wants to know if people come to the restaurant. Absolutely. Then we'll put the hours in. Now we can add some photos here. So you click browse, select a photo. Here's one I have in a folder here. You'd get them wherever you store the photos. Uh, make sure they aren't extremely large. A lot of cameras make very high resolution photos. You pretty much want to change it so it's a lower resolution photo so it can be uploaded. So there we are. We'll add some more photos next. And now we want to submit this listing. See how it shows up here with information available. We can come back and edit it, but at least we got to start. Now here, sometimes it'll let you confirm by phone and others by postcard. We're going to use the postcard at this time, but sometimes it gives you the option of phone and other times it does not. So we'll click finish. There it shows the the postcard they're going to get. Please watch out for this. This is easy to miss. And now this concludes the activity of, of looking up, checking to see if your listing's there. And it was interesting in this case because we understood there was no listing when there was actually a listing and the store was closed on the listing, which is more important to be able to grab it probably because of the uh, ownership change that occurred. Then we updated the listing, we put information, and when you get the data, you'll sign back in, just like you're looking it up. Uh, you'll sign in under your Gmail account, uh, go and enter the PIN number on the page. I think I'm gonna demonstrate that next. One of the many ways to go back is we can put in local.google.com, signed in with our Gmail account, and when we click, your business on Google Maps, it will know we have already uh, been here before and now it's waiting for our PIN number once we have it and click go then we're confirmed and we have our listing up and uh, we can get a URL from that listing. This completes this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. This is Martin Brossman and I wish you have a great day. I love to hear your comments below.